Okay, so I literally just finished this last video of uh, the finite difference method using Euler's method. So now I'm going to do another video and I'm going to add an extra uh, RK4 loop. Um, and so I'm going to show essentially why one is better than the other. So everything for Euler's method is going to stay the same. I'm going to copy the TMAT uh, matrix um, to, I'm going to call it uh, T trk4 mat equals tmat like this and then i'm gonna jump down here and i'm gonna say four actually i'm gonna jump down all the way down here and i'm gonna say four tdx equals one the length of trk4 vec minus one like that and so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna define uh, my trk4 vec equals lin space. Again, make sure to watch my other video. I'm going to post a link uh, over here. Um, just in case, here, here, here's my, uh, my, my code here. I've got my heat capacitance, my length of my pipe, number of elements, discretizer x space, discretize time, allocate memory for temperature, and then my, I have, here's my RK4 loop, and then I, uh, I mesh and plot it. Um, so anyway, so I'm going to do um, T vec of 1, uh, DT RK4, and then uh, I'm going to do uh, T vec of uh, end. And so how do I want to define T vec of RK4? Well, basically I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to just put this down here. So I'm going to make the time step the same for now, uh, but in the end I'm going to you know, get something different here. Okay, so this is where uh, things get a little bit complicated. Um, I, th I feel like I say that all the time. Anyway, so my my spatial um, derivatives are going to be the same. The thing is that I have to do this derivative for the entire pipe four times because I need k1 equals you know derivative of t mat of the of all the rows with the tdx column like that and then i need k2 is the derivative of t mat all comma tdx except this time i need to add k1 times dt rk4 over 2 and then i need a k3 is derivative t mat all comma tdx. It looks like I have a parenthesis in the wrong spot here. Plus k2 times dt rk4 over 2. And then finally k4 is derivative t mat all comma tdx plus k3 times dt rk4. And then finally phi is 1 sixth times k1 plus 2 times k2 plus 2 times k3 plus k4. And T mat of all comma TDX plus one is equal to T mat of all comma TDX plus phi times DT RK4. So that, this right here, this is the standard RK4 um, equation, I guess you could call it. The problem is, is that this derivative function is, is fairly complex. And so the reason why I'm calling it derivatives is because I actually want to make my life easier and I want to make a function called um, dt dt equals derivative of uh, t in like this and actually compute this derivative here. So the problem is, is now x vec needs to be known and so that means I've got to come in here and compute x vec. But instead, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to drop this into a function, finite difference example like that. And I'm going to just make a global. Um, I know that globals are frowned upon, but I want this to go quickly. So that's that. OK, so then all I have to do really is just grab this entire loop here. And uh, oop, that looks weird. And, and just drop it in. And I just need to make sure all the variable names are the same. So um, d dt dt is this. I'm gonna just make it t in like that. 
and then um, instead of tmat, I'm going to call this uh, dt dt like this. And then the derivative is no longer this all, uh, all of this stuff. I actually removed this, and the derivative is just this part. So it's k dt over dx squared. And so I need dt rk4, which means I need to make that a global and dx a global. And so I'm going to come back up here, make dx a global, dt rk4 a global. And then tmat is, and here I'll just make this simpler. No, uh, tn vec. I, I, I like my nomenclature to be good. That way you know that this is a vector, not a matrix. And so I'm going to do um, tn of vec. And notice I don't need tdx anymore because I've already done that here. This input to this function is already a vector with the time coordinate. So I don't need that part. So I can actually get rid of the time coordinate tn vec idx minus 1, get rid of the tdx call this tn vec okay and uh, that that should be it um, I think I need to call well, what did I call this guy trk format and so this needs to be trk format trk format trk format trk format trk format trk format and then I should just be able to do the exact same thing I'm just gonna copy that this is going to be T R K four vec. This is going to be T R K four. I'm going to make sure that I plot a new figure. I'm going to hit F five. Go for gold. Uh, it didn't work. Uh, of course. So K K is undefined here. So I need to make K a global as well. Um, Nope, still didn't like it. Let's see, uh, TDX, hmm. There's no TDX in there. Oh, there's a TDX right here. There we go. Okay, so let's see. It looks like it's going slower. Like it's, at, it's propagating it through but it looks like perhaps um, I have I have some error in here. Ah, yes, I think I did this the other day. Um, so when you have this DT RK4 here, you're actually multiplying it twice, and so you don't need that in there. The derivative is actually this guy, and so it, it, let's let's formally derive this. So if you look at this equation, here's the derivative. And the derivative equals k times this over dx squared. Do you see that? And so really what we're doing is we're saying that t dot equals k times all of this. See? And then basically we're saying k1 is t dot evaluated at t. And then k2 is t dot evaluated at t plus k1 times dt over 2. Um, etc etc and so if we put a DT in here and we have a DT over here we're actually multiplying it by it twice so I need to actually get rid of that which means I can get rid of this global which means I can get rid of this global here and that should put us boom look at that exactly the same no problems whatsoever okay so why it, this was this made this way more complicated. I mean, we had this crazy uh, four function called the derivatives function. We have this thing in here as well. Um, is it really better? So let's see. If I make the time step of Euler's method 1.0 times this and hit play, you see there's a little nastiness happening. If I do 1.1, there's a lot of nastiness happening. And if I do 1.2, the whole system blows up completely. Um, that's 5,000. Euler uh, RK4. It looks like there's a little. I've been having MATLAB issues, by the way, when I like record my screen with this software, and uh, and, and plotting. But uh, I apologize for that. But anyway, so if I do 1.2 on the time step for RK4, you'll notice that RK4 has no problem. Um, if I do um, 1.5 for uh, the Euler's method, that goes to 10 to the 6th, 
but uh, RK4 should have no problem with 1.5 times. Okay, so RK4 is slowly getting issues, but it's not as bad as 10 to the 6. So um, let's see. So there's, let's see what our limits are. So 1.3 is good. Uh, looks like uh, 1.4 is good. So I, I'd probably say 1.4. It seems like some weirdness is happening. Yeah, just a little bit in the bottom in the, in the beginning. So I would say 1.4 for uh, RK4 is good. And then, um, yeah, I would say, let's see, 1.1. What's happening here? Matrix dimensions must agree. Yeah, but I, re I redefined those. Uh, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, um, that that's that's ir ir irrelevant in my, in my. Oh, that's because I made. Oh, of course, because I copied the T matrix. I can't do that. That's stupid. You can't do that. You have to. You have to make a new one. You can't just copy it. You have to make it a completely new one because the the vectors are different lengths. Of course, T R K four. T R K four mat. But then you need, but then you need the boundary conditions. That's what's annoying. So you see, you to copy the boundary conditions. K four, K four. There we go. Okay. Um, all right. So where were we? So this is still, this is still messed up. So let's say 1.0. That's probably good. All right. So there you go. So um, these are both functions. So I'll, I'll just have it spit out dt, dt r k four. So there you go. It looks so with Euler's method, your maximum time step is 0 0.3086. With RK4, your maximum time step is 0 0.4321. So you increased your time step a little bit, um, and that way you don't have to uh, uh, integrate as long. Um, again, I think I posted this in my last video, but there's a lot of other ways to solve these equations, like the Crank Nicholson method and things like that, that you know average the spatial derivative. Um, over two time steps and it's a little bit more complicated um, if there's enough interest I might uh, go go and uh, do that one um, anyway uh, hopefully this has been helpful I'm gonna go through the code um, I'm just gonna go through the RK4 part one more time so um, here's where we make our time step here's where we make our uh, time vector um, I thought we were gonna copy the matrix but we actually just make a new tmat um, because the vector sizes have changed um, and then here we have our loop. Here's our k1, k2, k3, k4, and then phi. This is just the standard RK4 equation. Then we plot it. Um, the derivatives function call computes a derivative. Um, remember, we compute uh, t dot uh, for the entire the entire uh, pipe here. So it's the entire pipe, and then we return that to here. Run through this loop. Um, arc t, RK4 vec times. And then plot it, and that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, post it in the comments below, and hopefully, this will help you out in the future. Good luck.